So today's video is pretty much showing you a, a quick comparison between the original Xbox One, the Xbox One X, and the PlayStation 4 Pro. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this guy on top of this, and this guy on top of this, and show a nice tower so you can have a quick overview in terms of size and all that kind of jazz. Well hello there, welcome, 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 welcome back to a brand new video where today we're doing something pretty awesome. So yesterday I posted a video unboxing the brand new Xbox One X, the Project Scorpio edition. If you haven't missed that video, there'll be a link down below or head over to the channel to see that video. But a few comments, a few of you were saying, Matt, as you have the PlayStation 4 Pro and the original Xbox One X, can you do a comparison video? And I thought, sure, why not? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick overview between the three consoles, build a little tower as well so I can show you like the dimensions and all that kind of jazz and it's just, it's just like visuals so it's just for you guys to look at it visually and see okay this Xbox One X is pretty small compared to the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X in terms the Xbox One X no the PS4 Pro mat and the original Xbox One but uh, but no it should be pretty good so if you do enjoy today's video then be sure to a massive thumbs up subscribe if you're new comment down below your thoughts regarding this are you picking up the Xbox One X? Please let me know. But without further ado, let's hop over to the bed and do the comparison. Well, hello there. Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Magic Bed, where yesterday we unboxed this guy, the Xbox One X Project Scorpio Edition. The box is just there as well as there. And yesterday I posted this video. If you haven't seen that video already, link down below in the description. But a lot of you are saying, Matt, as you have the original Xbox One Day One Edition and the new Xbox One X and the PlayStation 4 Pro. Could you do a size comparison between the three? And I thought, hey, why not? So today we have Evie, Squirtle, Pikachu, Meowth and Charmander who are joining us on this amazing adventure. So today's video is pretty much showing you a quick comparison between the original Xbox One, the Xbox One X, and the PlayStation 4 Pro. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this guy on top of this, and this guy on top of this, and show a nice tower so you can have a quick overview in terms of size and all that kind of jazz. And as you can see straight away, the Xbox One X is the smallest console compared to the original Xbox One, and the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now from a quick comparison, what you can see is this guy is pretty chunky, pretty chunky indeed. This guy fairly thin, and then this one is pretty much like two PlayStation 4 Slims on top of each other. But what you can see straight away is the Xbox One, the original, is pretty wide in terms of width. But then you look at the Project Scorpio edition, you know, not bad. PS4 Pro, pretty thin, but the PlayStation 4 Pro is quite long compared to the original Xbox One. So as you can see straight away, the Xbox One, the Project Scorpio Edition, is the smallest console, as well as being the most powerful console, is the smallest out of the three. And as you can see here, this guy's pretty big. Obviously a gloss finish versus a matte finish, similar to the PlayStation 4. I do prefer the matte finish because obviously you might be able to see a few scratches. I mean, it's very shiny, which is good, but you do get a few scratches. But I mean, looking at both the systems here, I mean, yes, I mean, look how look how different it is. Like the original Xbox One, Project Scorpio Edition, and then the PS4 Pro. I mean, they both, they all three of them look amazing. But it's just crazy how this guy is the most powerful console in the world, and it's smaller than the PS4 Pro and the original Xbox One X, which is crazy. And as you can see here, a quick behind-the-scenes tour. The PS4 Pro was here, the Xbox One was here, and you guys might be able to tell here, the original, the classic PlayStation 4 60GB model and the Xbox 360 Elite, but I thought why not show you the difference between the original Xbox One, Xbox One X, Project Scorpio Edition, and the PlayStation 4 Pro. So what we're going to do right now is, like I said, put them all in one together, put them all in one, put, uh, make it like a master, make it like an art piece, and show you a quick comparison so you guys can tell which is the smallest, what are the dimensions, all that kind of jazz, and hopefully you enjoy today's video. <laughs> So 
So here we go, guys. My wonderful art piece. What are your thoughts regarding this? Look at it. I wonder what grade I would have gotten at school if I like brought this in. I, uh, to be honest, if the teacher was into gaming, I'm sure they would give me a pretty high grade. I mean, look at it. We have the original Xbox One. Then we have, I, I, I was about to say, the original Xbox One X. No, man, that's not, that wasn't a thing back in the day. The original Xbox One. Then the PS4 Pro, then the Xbox One X Project Scorpio Edition. As you can see straight away, this guy here, he's pretty wide. Pretty wide indeed. Now, the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X are pretty much the same width. As you can see, they're, you know, just look at it. Pretty much the same width. Now, in terms of, like, length, in terms of, you know, from front to back, you can see straight away, look at the Xbox One X. It's just like... Actually, that's not, that's the PS4, whoa, wow, let's, let's take another angle here, look at this, right, so the PS4 Pro, this is a better angle actually, as you can see here, the PS4 Pro, look how long it is, so I've tried to line them all up, and obviously the, with the PS4 being, like, at sort of like, I don't know, I'd say maybe like a 70 degree, as you can see there, I mean, that's flat, probably like 70 degrees, I mean, a nice flat facing there, but look how long this PS4 Pro is. I mean, look at that. You've got like at least an inch over the original Xbox One. And I wish my camera would focus. Just do one job camera. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. There there we go. The, cam the camera finally was like, okay, man, I'm so sorry. But anyway, look at it. So the Xbox One X, if you look here and you go down, pretty much almost, it's, to be honest, like obviously it's like a, probably an unfair comparison because this guy should be a little bit forward a bit because obviously that would be the length of that but either way this guy is incredibly small ps4 pro is pretty long and the biggest console is the xbox one x the original because it's pretty wide so hopefully this gives you a, quite a nice little review a little understanding of the free consoles and i'll give you a, a nice little bird's eye view but from our quick video or hopefully it's been a quite quick video quite an informative video is that the Xbox One X is pretty big, the PS4 Pro is pretty long, and the new Xbox One X is very, very small indeed. So there we go, guys. Those are the three consoles, and a quick size comparison. Now, no, let's get Pikachu. Pikachu's pretty huge. I mean, I mean, yeah, he, he's massive compared to this guy. But actually, something which I could show you quickly is my iPhone. So here is my iPhone. If I were to put my iPhone down, that's an, that's an iPhone 6 Plus, and as you can see, it's like one and a half, you know, one and a half times this phone in terms of length, width-wise. We're probably looking at almost two phones. So probably two lengths of iPhones and then one and a half going up there. So there we go, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this quick video. Some of you were asking, quick size comparison video. But uh, once again, my camera doing a fantastic job. Thank you, thank you so much. Definitely need to upgrade the camera. But no, there we go, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. So there we go. That was the comparison video between the original Xbox One, the PlayStation 4 Pro, and the brand new Xbox One X Project Scorpio Edition. Were you surprised? To be honest, the Xbox One X is very small. And like I was showing you earlier, that like whip ways is like, it's two of my phones. So it's like this, this, and then length is like one and one, like basically one and a half times my phone. And it's very small for the most powerful console in the world, which is crazy. I am intrigued to find out what Sony are going to do next. But to be honest, is size, the size matter? For me, I have it on my shelf. And to be honest, I prefer bigger consoles because they have bigger fans. But, you know, in this modern era, you know, we don't really see any problems with overheating. You never know. They, they obviously test these things. But, uh, you know, what, what, you know, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts really on the comparison? But if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to give you a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding this. But anyway, have a wonderful day. See you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom.